guys? Coming at you with another tutorial from FunkPianoAcademy.com. This time we're taking a look at I Want You by Erica Badu. It's a pretty easy song with some cool chords, so let's dive right in. Two main parts of the song. First part goes like this. And that's just C, D, and then B flat, C, D, A, C, D, and then G, C, D. And you're playing two sixteenth notes on every downbeat. And what I mean by that is that it, it goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're playing this pattern. And in the left hand, you're going to be playing D on the downbeat or on the 16th note before the downbeat. And what, I'm, what I mean by that is this. You can either go but that's a little boring so if you want to make it more interesting and funky you can play this left hand D a 16th note before the downbeat when you're playing this note or this pattern rather so it's going to sound well really slow it goes like this so you want to practice that real slow and once you get it to a higher speed, it'll sound uh, well. It'll sound better and make more sense. So practice that, but you can also, to make it more interesting, add in your own filler notes in the bass with the left hand notes like C, D, F, G, A, A any note in a D minor 7 um, chord or D Dorian so basically all the white notes like so so I'm just playing messing around with these you know two note patterns in the left hand you can make it up however you want to um, but what you do want to do is you're going to transition to the B flat and do the same thing. And how you transition is you're going and once you get to this G, C, D, you're going to go, you're going to play it once, one downbeat. So it's going to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're going to play. And then you do the same thing with B flat in the bass instead this time. And when you're going back to the uh, when you're going back to the D, you're gonna go you can go, you can start on either the B flat or the B and just roll up to the D. So it's gonna go or you can go so that's the whole thing um, for, for the weird intro part how are you going to transition to the, the cool part when the drums uh, comes in or the drums come in is you're gonna go, you're gonna be on this B flat, and you're gonna start on this B flat and go, and you're gonna roll up in half steps in the left hand till you get to the D, and then go. That's D D A A D in your left hand and A C E G in your right hand. So it's like... 
So you're alternating between this D minor seven with the added nine and um, si or, uh, not six four added nine and a, and a four on top there, and then you're going to a B flat major seven. to the song goes like this um, you're gonna be playing and then you're gonna go sorry you're gonna go so you're playing on this B flat getting into it go D, A, D, A, E, and then you're going to play this chord, G, B, C, E. It's sort of like a um, A minor 7 add 9 voicing with the notes G, B, C, E. you're going to play are the G, B, C, E. And then I play C, D, G, A, D, and do it again. Except this time ending on the D in my left hand, and I'm playing an F sharp, A, D this time. So it goes... Practice that until you have it, and then move on to the next part, which goes C, D, F, G, and then B flat, F, G, and then you pop the chord in the right hand, which is A, D, and F. And you can add in that C as well, but it's just basically another B flat major 7 chord. down G F D C G G D D C in your left hand and a F B flat D F in your right hand making a B flat over C chord which is also like a C suspended fourth um, because you have the fourth of C there and you have the dominant seven in C you also have the two of C. So you can either call it like a suspended two and four C chord or a B flat triad over C. But regardless, you're coming from the 
And then you go up C, D flat, and back. And then you can go straight back there. But like I said, so the chords are, you've got this. You've got this sort of suspended D chord sound. Because you have the fourth here, and then you also have the dominant seven and the two. And then you're going to the D major. And then you're going to E flat major seven. And ending on a on a B flat over C or that C suspended chord. And that's pretty much the whole song. If you need to solo you can play on your D minor 7 on your in your left hand you can just play F A C E which is D minor 7 it's a D minor 7 chord with your added 9 here you can play D Dorian which is all the white notes for the B flat major 7 you can play F A B flat D B flat major scale, or you can raise the E flat to an E and make it a B flat Lydian scale. Um, and yeah, that's uh, probably what you would be soloing over. And then for this part, I would still be playing, I'd play this voicing, and I would just be playing the white notes. And then when you play the D major, obviously you want to play D major scale. For your B flat major 7 play your B flat major 7 scale or B flat Lydian. And then for your C suspended or your B flat over C, you can play F, B flat, C, D. And you can play a variety of things you can play. play B flat major 7 scale, you can play C blues scale, you can think of it as C or B, um, one will sound more outside than the other, but you know, they'll both work, it's depending on what you like. But yeah, so that is uh, I Want You by Erica Badu. I hope you guys learned a lot. Make sure to check out the uh, chord sheet that you can purchase and which will allow you to follow along uh, with the video. Keep watching the video until you get it down, practice, and I uh, hope you had fun watching the video, and hope to see you next time.